So in this video we're going to have a look at the seminiferous tubules. For this we're going to annotate all of the different sections in the seminiferous tubule and also do an overview of the process of spermatogenesis which is the formation of sperm. So in the process of spermatogenesis this involves mitosis, cell growth, two divisions of meiosis and then differentiation at the end which is the same as in oogenesis. In terms of these pictures that I have drawn here, this red picture up here is showing a cross section of a seminiferous tubule inside of the testes. Um, so remember with a cross section it's as if you've pulled the tube lengthways, chopped it down the centre and then you are looking down those tubules a bit like a telescope. Here this is a zoomed in section, so if you imagine uh, these two wiggly cells on the outside here are these two longer cells here. It's just one section that we've pulled over here, drawn a bit bigger, so we can annotate easily um, and clearly. So at the start, up here. These cells on the outside are the germinal epithelium cells. They are constantly going through the process of mitosis. Okay, so these are diploid cells going through mitosis and they are producing these cells here, which are spermatogonium. So these are formed through the process of mitosis. Following that, the spermatogonium start to grow into these bigger cells here, which are the primary spermatocytes. There's no division here. This is just going from a smaller spermatogonium to a larger primary spermatocyte. The primary spermatocytes go through the first division of meiosis to become a secondary spermatocyte and the difference here between spermatogenesis and oogenesis is we are doing meiosis and we are going through the first process of meiosis 1. When we went through oogenesis, following meiosis 1, a polar body was formed and that then started to degenerate. It was only the primary oocyte that then went on, went on to then finally form an ovum a little bit later. In spermatogenesis, from the primary to the secondary oocyte, both become the secondary spermatocyte. There is no polar body form. So one primary spermatocyte forms two secondary spermatocytes. These smaller cells down here are then spermatids. And these are formed through the second division of meiosis. And again, there are no polar bodies formed here. Each secondary spermatocyte forms two spermatids through the process of meiosis two. The final process is having a look at these larger cells on each of these two sides over here. These are called Sertoli cells. You might see these called nurse cells. So the final process is these spermatids becoming associated with these Sertoli cells here on either side. Now the Sertoli cells help the spermatids differentiate into our final spermatozoa. So this process here from spermatid to spermatozoa is differentiation.
with the spermatozoa, this is then released into the center of the seminiferous tubule. And following that, it can then be taken out of the testes. So if we go back to our picture at the top left here, the spermatozoa are being made at the bottom of these long cells, the Sertoli cells. As soon as the spermatozoa have fully differentiated, they are then released into the centre of the seminiferous tubules here and they can then be carried out of the testes.